Hello, Tracy. I finally found you. It's been five years, right? Are you doing well? Who is this? It's me, Oliver's mother. Don't tell me you've forgotten me. What? Could it be Megan? That's right. It's been a while. It's been a while, hasn't it? Just so you know, I haven't forgiven you. Five years ago, you certainly said you were cutting ties with me. Do you know how painful to hear that? You wouldn't understand, would you? If it were just you, I wouldn't care. But involving my precious Sully son, Oliver is just too far. And top of that, changing your phone number and even blocking me. When I rushed to your house, you had already moved out. Somehow, the neighbors found out about it. And they started spreading rumors like, because I'm an evil mother-in-law, I was abandoned by my son's family. I've been desperately looking for you for these past five years. Don't you understand how much I've searched for you? Um, now, I know that you are looking for us. But how did you get my contact information? I changed my number five years ago. Where did I get it from? I won't tell you. <laughs> it might not be the answer to your question. But it's for the sake of my beloved son, you know. What do you mean? I wanted to save my son from you. Save? What do you mean? You brainwashed Oliver, didn't you? Otherwise, there's no way he would have said he's cutting ties with me. He was such a good son, always thinking of his mother. If you're so worried about Oliver, why don't you find Oliver's contact information? Why did you contact me, someone you hate? It couldn't be helped. I actually wanted to contact Oliver. But I didn't have his new contact information. Well, now that I've reached you, it's as good as being connected to Oliver again. Now, hurry up and give me Oliver's contact information. I'm sorry, but I don't know. What? I said I didn't have Oliver's contact information. Stop playing dumb. There's no way you don't know your husband's contact information. Do you really want me not to reunite with my son? I'm his mother. At least tell me his contact information. Oh, wait. Don't you know that we are divorced? Divorced? Yes. No way. That's a lie. While I was desperately searching for you, you were divorced? Yes, and not recently. We divorced the year after we cut ties with you, so it's been about four years. That's a lie! That long ago? Why would something like that happen? We had different values and what we wanted from each other. It led to numerous arguments and eventually, we divorced. But in the end, we talked it out and we both agreed. And it was an amicable divorce. I'm married to someone else now. Oh my god. I could never forgive you. I hate you. What? Even though I contacted you after five years, I can't forgive you for lying about something like this. What are you talking about? I'm not lying. Stop acting. I know everything. Why do you think I'm lying? Obviously. It's because Oliver hasn't come back. Huh? What do you mean? My son loves me a lot. Yet, because of you, he got brainwashed. But if he divorces you, I'm sure he will come back to me after the brainwashing is over. I see. The fact that he hasn't returned to me means you were lying. 
My precious Oliver is still being brainwashed by you. Oh, uh, I see. So that's what you think. Regardless of what you say, the fact is that Oliver and I got divorced. So even if you contacted me, I don't have Oliver's contact information. Liar! Just tell me already. I told you, I don't know. You really don't want to give it to me? Fine, I'll find out on my own. But at least give me my grandchild. Grandchild? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. You gave birth to my grandchild, didn't you? No, I didn't give birth. Shut up. I know it already. I got your contact and my grandchild's info at the same time. Your contact information matched, so I knew my grandchild's info was true. No, no, no. I'm the one telling you that I didn't give birth. You're lying because you don't want to give it to me, right? I'm not lying. At least, I didn't give birth to what you called your grandchild. I don't believe a word to say. If I raised my grandchild, Oliver should come back to me. If you don't give the child to me, I'll come to take them myself. So be prepared. You're coming to get them? Where? Do you know where I live? Of course. Don't underestimate me. You're lying. It's not a lie. I'm not a liar like you. Well then, I will see you soon. Hey, Jack, do you have a minute? It's really important. Tracy, what's wrong? My ex-mother-in-law found my contact information and messaged me. What? Oliver's mother? That's right. What should I do? Hey, calm down first. What did Oliver's mother say? She's saying to hand over her grandchild. What? She said she's coming to get them. So I should be prepared. It seems like there's a misunderstanding. But does that mean she knows your current address too? That's right. And I don't know where she got my information. Did you tell her that you and Oliver are already divorced? Of course, I told her. I even told her I'm remarried now. And that I haven't given birth to her grandchild. But she doesn't believe me at all. Did you talk to your husband about this? I told him over the phone, but he's been on a business trip overseas for a week now. I think he's in Tokyo right now. Even if he booked a flight now, it would take a whole day to come back. He said it's an important business trip, so I don't think he can make it right away. I see. In that case, why don't you come to my place? Can I come? Yeah, of course. It's too dangerous for you to stay at home. You have to take care of yourself. Don't worry about it. I've got my wife standing next to me right now. She's also said you should come here. Thank you. Then I guess I will stay at your place for now. Please tell your wife how thankful I am. Alright, I got it. You should get going. Once you finish packing, I'll come pick you up. Just let me know. Got it. Thank you. Hey, Tracy! I've been ringing the doorbell multiple times. Why won't you answer? Are you still sleeping? Or are you pretend not to be home? You're probably inside, right? Come out already. Oh my god. Megan? You're here already? But the doorbell didn't ring. Then it must be broken. Anyway, I'm in front of the house right now. So get your ass out here. How long are you going to make me wait? I knew it. Hello there. I can see you. What? I can see my cute little grandchild in the backyard. I knew you were lying. 
What? Backyard? Um, I don't have a backyard. What are you talking about? I'm actually in your yard. You've been lying to me this whole time, haven't you? Can't you at least come up with a better lie? Well, forget it. I don't need anything from you anymore. What do you mean? I'll take my grandchild with me. What? It's your fault for leaving the child alone in the yard. I gave you a clear notice that I was coming to pick him up, remember? If you didn't want this, you should have left him alone. Megan, where are you right now? Seriously, I've been saying I'm in front of your house this whole time. I don't think the kid that you were taking is your grandchild. What are you talking about? Stop saying nonsense. I don't even want to talk to you anymore. Anyway, I'm taking this chat with me. Bye. Megan, please wait. I'm not waiting. I said I don't need you anymore. Megan, that child isn't your grandchild. What you're doing is kidnapping. Megan, are you reading this? I don't care about what to say. I hate liars like you. I am saying this for your sake. I don't care what happens to you anymore. Jack, my ex-mother-in-law messaged me again. Really? What did she say? She said she's arrived at my house. What? She's already there? But it seems she went to the wrong house. What do you mean? She said she rang the doorbell, but it didn't ring. I live in an apartment, but she was talking about the backyard. That's weird. So she must have mistaken someone else's house. The worst part is, it seems a child was playing along in that backyard. She thought the child was her grandchild, so she took the kid. What? What should I do? I've tried to her many times that the child isn't her grandchild. But she wouldn't listen and didn't answer my calls. I'm hoping it's just a threat and she didn't actually take the child. Knowing how pushy she was about wanting that grandchild when I was married to Oliver, I think she might do it. You should report it to the police. Do you think so? You're the one who knows the situation best, right? I think you should prioritize the child's safety and do it. It's like she confessed to kidnapping the child. If there's a high chance of it being true, you should ask the police to check it out. You tried to stop her many times, right? She didn't listen. So that's the thing that you can do now. You're right. I'll call the police now. Tracy, what the hell are you doing? I only brought my grandchild back home. Why did you call the police? Hey, don't ignore me. Where are you now? You finally replied. I'm in big trouble. Tell me where you are. I'm on the train with my grandchild. Just now, I got a call from a neighbor. They told me that the police were in front of my house. I'm a grandmother. And yet, you're calling the police on me? Are you going that far? Is the child safe? You don't mean to harm the kid or anything, right? Huh? What are you talking about? Me, hurting this adorable child? There's no way I would do such a thing. Thank goodness. I know you don't want to believe me, but I will say it again. That child isn't your grandchild. Isn't my child either. You were kidnapping someone else's child. I'll say it again. I don't believe a word to say. Then let me ask you, how old is the child you were with right now? 
Just tell me roughly. Huh? This child's age? He told me with his finger that he was three years old. What a smart child. I don't know who told you about my child. But my baby is still in my belly. He's not born yet. What? But he's not your grandchild. I told you that I got remarried, right? My husband is the father of my child, not your son. What are you talking about? My grandchild is sitting right next to me. If it's your grandchild, why are the police at your house? What? Let me ask you another question. Why would you think I have given birth to the child you were with? Because I know your address. It's a house with a green roof near the north exit of Everpeak Station in Lakeside City, right? There was only one house with a green roof, so I recognized it right away. What? Everpeak Station in Lakeside City? The kid was playing in the yard of that house, so he must be my grandchild. That house was where Oliver and I lived after we cut ties with you. Until we got divorced. What? I live in a completely different place now. I don't know who gave you this information. But both the address and the child seem to be wrong information. Oh no. I think the landlord told us before that a newlywed couple will be moving in after we move out. No way. Oh yeah, I remember now. I also heard that the wife was pregnant. If she was pregnant at that time, their child must be about three years old now. Then this child... is probably the child of that couple. Then where's my grandchild? I don't know. Just like you found my contact information. Why don't you find out Oliver's contact information and ask him? At the very least, I didn't give birth to your grandchild. Also, I will tell you this for the sake of my ex-husband. What? Oliver did not cut ties with you because I brainwashed him. Your overbearing behavior as a mother was too much for him. And he was mentally exhausted. What? Your verbal abuse toward me was also excessive. Even though Oliver tried to stop you many times, you didn't listen. He was completely disgusted by your ugly behavior. It was him who decided to cut ties with you. Oh no, that's a lie! Also, Oliver isn't in the US right now. What? So he's overseas? I knew it. So you know Oliver's contact information after all. I don't know. My current husband is on a business trip overseas and isn't at home. So I talked with you, my brother, about you. Then, my brother checked up on Oliver through an acquaintance of his. I just found out too. If you found out his contact information, you should tell me. I only know where he is. I don't know his contact information. I don't need to know either. I hear that he only told a few people about his current address. It seems he has no plans to return to the US anytime soon. Oh my god. No. Why didn't he contact me? Because he cut ties with you. More importantly, I think you should worry about yourself. Turn yourself in as soon as possible. Please return the child to his parents. Turn myself in? Or kidnapping this child? That's what I've been saying all along. I just wanted to live with my son and my grandchild. After that, the police called me to update me. The police told me the child was safe and sound. I felt relieved when I heard that. Apparently, 
The police have been watching the nearest station to Megan's home. They caught her at the station. As she was acting strangely by repeatedly looking back while holding a three year old child, the parents of the child filed the report without hesitation. Megan was arrested and sentenced to prison. I didn't know this, but apparently, the Megan's husband had already passed away. Even after getting out of jail, I'm sure Megan will have a lonely old age. Later on, Oliver called me from abroad through a mutual acquaintance. Despite having cut ties, he cried and apologized many times, saying how sorry he was for what his mother had done. He is now remarried, and he told me they're expecting a child soon. I was happy to know that he will be a father soon. We both wished each other continued happiness and ended the call. I will be in my final stage of pregnancy soon, so I want to take care of myself and prepare for childbirth. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.